this food, baby. Without it, you'll be starving. My love is food, baby. I, without it, you'll be dying. Hi, I'm Megan Teltner and today I'm going to give you some tips on things you can do when you get home from the grocery store with all your produce. I always hear people say they don't like to buy a lot of vegetables because they end up throwing it all out. I think we end up throwing out our vegetables because we get lazy and vegetables do take a little bit of work to prep but the best thing you can do is get it all ready the day you buy them and it's all set up in your fridge so they're easy to get, as easy as grabbing a bag of chips. So I'm going to give you some tips and show you what I like to do. All right, so all my groceries are unpacked and the first step I do is I clean up what I can clean up. So things like the carrots, the celery, the broccoli, the cauliflower, I will cut away the parts that I'm going to discard, wash them, peel them, and get them ready to eat. Break off the ends. I like to keep a bowl handy to put all the garbage into. I have my vegetable peeler and I will peel all the carrots. Alright, so I've peeled and washed the carrots and I've washed and cut up the celery and I keep them in jars full of water. Um, you can put them in other kinds of containers if you prefer, but since my hands are freaky small I can get them into the jars. Next for things like broccoli, um, you want to cut it up into pieces roughly the size you believe you'll be using them. Save the stalks, they're really good to put into soups. Um, I use mine in my chicken soup. Um, but you can make broccoli soup, anything that calls for broccoli, you can shred it and use it in a stir fry. So what I do is I just cut up the broccoli into pieces and I will store it in a container in my fridge so that when I go to steam them or saute them, wherever I'm going to use it, they're all ready. The broccoli is cut up and ready to be used. Similarly, we'll do the same thing with the cauliflower. So we cut off Next thing I've got are my Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are actually one of my favorite foods, which everyone finds mildly ridiculous. But um, the best way to cut Brussels sprouts is cut off the end, peel off the outer layers, and then you can throw those in a container to use for later. Just like that, I have my container of Brussels sprouts ready to go, ready to be steamed or baked when I'm ready to eat them. This week I got some dill, because I'm going to make a chicken soup. I have some parsley, and I bought some cilantro. Cut off the bottom parts, the part I will not be eating. So I've filled this bowl with water and this is how I will store my herbs in my fridge. I have my kale leaves. Again, I like to cut off the bottom. And these I will also store in a jar, just like that, which I fill with water and this I can store in the fridge door. Green beans can be another tricky one. They're delicious to eat, but they do take time. So again, while you're working at this, just cut off the ends and store them so that they're ready to cook. So then, in a very short span of time, I have organized my vegetables for my week of healthy eating. So I've got my carrots and celery ready to grab. I've got my herbs soaking in cold water to keep fresh. My kale leaves will stay fresh through the week. I've got my green beans. My leeks are packaged and I've got my Brussels sprouts, my cauliflower, and my broccoli. It doesn't get much easier. All you do is you throw it in the oven, put it in the steamer, by the time you change your clothes, relax, dinner is ready. And it's healthy and easy, just like that. My love is food, baby. I, without it, you be dying.